Afternoon guys, uh, just a very quick video from me. Um, in the recent fat loss seminar, I did a demonstration using water on how carbohydrates are stored, utilized, etc. Uh, in the body. So I wanted to quickly post a video for you to, uh, again, use the same theory, the water theory, the water bottle theory to, to give you a quick demonstration. So, as you can see here, we've got uh, a bottle full of water, which is mixture of like your bread, your pastas, your rice, your potatoes, uh, sweets and, and, and fruits, so anything sugar based. Okay, here we have muscle. And as you can read it says the more you have the better. And then we've got two Tupperware boxes at the front, the one on the left that says energy used, which is as a result of exercises um, like going to the gym etc. and daily movement. And the one on the right is your fat cells, which unfortunately have no limit and can continue storing. So, let's just say, for example, at the moment, we have muscle, okay? And you wake up in the morning, and let's just say for, for the sake of this, the muscle is empty, okay? There's no carbohydrates stored in it at the moment. So we wake up, and we have a bowl of porridge. Okay, so we tip in some porridge. Okay, and the muscle starts to fill up. Now the muscle has a capacity, and that's usually on average around about 500 grams and that can, of carbohydrates that can be stored in the muscle and 100 grams in the liver. And like most of you, you'll get to work uh, around about mid-morning, you'll start to think about having a cup of tea and a biscuit, which is obviously, again, more sugar. Okay, but at this point, we've not really used much energy or any of the glucose stored in the muscle, so the, uh, the muscle's still got the same amount in. Now, mid-morning, we have a biscuit and a cup of tea, and we fill it up. And as you can see, carbohydrate levels are starting to reach maximum. Now, we have a couple of choices here. We can either get ourselves moving a little bit, which means that energy will start to be used, and we can put some of that carbohydrates and expend it into energy out or energy used, which has then created a bit more space in the muscle. For some more carbohydrates but the, the downside is most people don't actually do this most people sit and they continue eating and very rarely go to the gym or do any activity such as walking running cycling or swimming so we finish work and we go home and like most people their habits show them or have a have built these habits that in the evening you want a pasta dish or you want some rice with your meal or you want some potatoes but remember, our muscle is currently stored to this amount with glycogen, um, which is stored carbohydrates. So what will happen this evening, if you haven't done any exercise and you've been having carbs all day, this muscle is soon going to overflow. So I'll remove the label off the muscle, and we shall fill it up with some more carbs with our evening meal. And as you can see, we keep filling it up with pasta, cakes, biscuits, packet of crisps, even a can of Coke and we start to increase fat, okay? Because we're not, we've, the muscles run out of storage and the only place that it can go when anything's full up, like your cupboards at home, they're gonna start to overflow. They have to go somewhere else to be stored and this is what happens. Any excess carbohydrates that aren't used as either energy on a daily basis or cannot be stored in the muscle will be used as storing fat. 